So in this video, we'll talk about how to start the training of NN unit. And to start the training, we need to uh, pass the data set through these three steps. Uh, and I name them the, like as a NN unit naming format, raw data format, and process data format. So we'll see like uh, how to prepare the data set for uh, before we start the NN unit training. So yeah, so let's start with uh, naming format. So if we have like any data set, like I have this uh, segmentation of IOTA data set from Akai Challenge 2023. So we can see that uh, there will be one folder with the name like segmentation of IOTA. And then uh, inside that folder, there are like a uh, folder for each subject like D1, D2, D10. And uh, if we click on each of these folders, so then we have like one image and one is the ground. But uh, the problem is like NN unit can identify out of these two, like which one is the image and which one is the ground. So how NN unit expects the data that uh, it should have like each folder like here, but the problem is like uh, NN unit can identify like this is the ground and this is the image. So how NN unit expects like the image name and then the file extension, then uh, the ground name should be like the name should be the first name should be the same name as the image name, but it should have this uh, suffix underscore GT. So we need to convert this data set to this data uh, for naming format uh, where uh, there should be a unique name for each uh, subject like this. And then inside each folder, uh, it should have like this uh, again, subject name, and then again, subject name with this uh, suffix underscore GT. So now any unit will understand that, okay, this is the image and this is the ground truth. So, and this step is different for each data set. Maybe there are some data set for which the data set is already in this format, but the data set that I was using, it was not in this format. Yeah. So we need to write this uh, Python code. It, it's different for each data set. And uh, how we will arrange them now, like uh, I'm working on multiple data sets. So suppose uh, this one is data zero. So I have this data zero folder. And then inside this folder, there should be two folder name as training and testing. And then if you click on any of these folders, so then it should have like subjects like D1, D2, D3, D10. And uh, if you click on any of these subjects folders, so then it should have like these types of file, which is d1.nrrd and d1 underscore gt.nrrd. So yeah, so uh, in the next step, like we, we need to convert this data set to raw data format and we need to provide the, this path of this uh, data zero. And an important thing to remember here is like, uh, suppose that I want to use uh, all my data set for the training, not for the testing. Uh, but we still need to create this testing folder. So anytime, like for any data set, we should have two folders. One should be the training and one should be the testing. Even if we don't have any testing example, but still we should have this uh, folder and it can be empty even, yeah. So before going to the uh, uh, preparing the raw data format, uh, there's a job script uh, which is useful in the case when we are uh, running our jobs on the cluster. So there are a few important points in this. Uh, the first one is like, uh, depending upon the resources which are available to you, you need to specify like uh, how many GPUs or how, how much time do you want to use then. This is the important thing, like uh, we need to activate the environment before uh, running any of the command from now to onward. Uh, like in my case, I named it as a NN underscore unit. It is my virtual environment where NN unit is installed. And another point is like, uh, before running any of these commands, we should be this uh, NN unit directory. And this uh, NN unit directory is uh, this directory uh, where we actually have this uh, all NN unit uh, files. So yeah, so we should be always being this directory before running any of the commands from now to onward for the training, processing, inference, or even uh, creating the raw data set. So we should always be in this format, which uh, we can go to CD to this. And the next step is like, uh, we created some paths, uh, and then unit raw, and then unit process, and then unit results. And these paths are different from the uh, NN unit V1. So yeah, so if are you using NN unit V1, uh, please update them. And uh, here, like we need to specify like where we want to save our raw data set, where we want to save our process data set, and where we want to save our the segmentation results. And instead of like an end unit v1, we are free to specify these path anywhere inside the end unit directory or even outside the end unit directory. So, and we don't need like uh, all of these, uh, like for pre-processing or generating like the results or uh, like in to create like this, like to create this raw data format, we don't need this pre-process and result for, format, but uh, in my job script, I'm using all of these three consistently. And then here we need to specify like uh, either we want to run a Python file, like for the generating the raw data set, or we want to run some command like for the training inference or uh, generating the process data set. So we will discuss like uh, 
how to change this path for each of the mm, tasks that we are going to perform. So yeah, so all these three uh, parts, they will remain same. Uh, if we follow this format, then these three paths will remain same. So every time we need to change, uh, we will change like this line over here. So yeah, so um, we have our data set, uh, which is the NNUR naming format, but we now want to convert it to NNUR draw data format. So what we need to do uh, is like in my case, uh, I have this uh, file here at my GitHub, but uh, depending upon the data set, uh, if we go into like NNUnit v2, then uh, data conversion. So we can see here are a number of Python files uh, which are available for different data set, like for the ADC, this uh, browse data set or some other segmentation tasks. So it entirely depends on the task that either you can use any of the uh, raw data format to get raw data format and this uh, conversion format, uh, which is available at my GitHub. So here we need to change like certain things. Uh, first thing is like the task name. So in my case, like a segmentation of IOTA. So I named it as a seg A, yeah. And the other important thing is like to, uh, to change this uh, JSON format uh, file. So it specifies like what is the modality to available. Like in my case that I have OCT and what are the labels like uh, is this background, it will always be zero. Then some other classes like IOTA or right ventricular or left ventricular and whatever it is. So in this data set, we have only one class is IOTA. And then important thing is like, uh, what is the extension of uh, uh, this file, which name as a file ending. So in my case, like I have this NRRD and uh, then it is like the, yeah, the uh, task ID, like we can put any task ID. I put this task 50 and default is 27. And uh, then uh, we need to provide the path, this path, uh, data zero, which I mentioned in the previously, like uh, the path to this uh, data zero folder and data zero folder should have the training, testing, and then each subject and each subject like the image and the ground truth. Uh, yeah. So if we specify all these uh, paths, so I have like my own uh, script to get the raw data, but you can use any of them or you can write your own one. So if we uh, finish these steps, so what we will get, uh, we will get like, uh, we have already specified where to save our uh, raw data set. So if we see like our uh, raw data set folder, so we, there will be a generated a folder with data set uh, name, data set, and we'll have this ID and then the task name. And inside of this folder, there will be like training, what are the training images, what are testing images, what are the training labels, and there will be a folder with the name like data set JSON, which we'll see like, what was the modality and what the labels were, what are the uh, number of training example and what was the file ending. So yeah, so even if in this case, like I'm using all of the uh, subjects as a training, so I will use like five-fold cross-validation, but uh, this testing set image underscore TS, which is a testing image, it would be empty, but uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so going through this step, we will get like an NNUnit draw data part. So the third step is like uh, to generate the NL unit process data format because uh, this is a thing from where the training will start. So what we need to do is uh, we uh, we need to use the same JavaScript as I mentioned before. This is the same, and all we need to do is to change like this. Uh, instead of now like running a Python file, we will use this Python command, which is like NL unit v2 underscore plan underscore n pre process, and then this is like uh, the task uh, name. Uh, the task ID, sorry, which is 50. And what it will do, like uh, we already specified this process data folder. So in process data folder, it will again generate a folder with data set underscore 50 and underscore seg A. And then it will generate like a uh, different configuration of an unit, like 2D, 3D full res, 3D low res. So it is not guaranteed that uh, for each data set, these three or four configuration will be generated. It depends entirely on the data set. And then it will generate like what are the data set fingerprints, like which images will be used as a training for the first fold and which will be used as the validation for the first fold and same for the second and third. And similarly, it will have like uh, what will be the number of filter for 3D full res, what will be the uh, like the spacing, the voxel size for the full res or the low res or 2D. So it will have like all these type of information in the in this process data format. And, Next, like whenever we start the training and we specify that we want to run the 3D full res, low res, or 2D, so it will use this folder to uh, continue the training. Yeah, so finally, it's the training step. And in the training step, like again, the job script will remain the same. And all we need to change is like this and then when v2 underscore train and specify like the task ID and which configuration do you want 3D full res, low res, or 2D. 
And then it's like, what fold we want to train. So this is a very simple example where I just only want to train like on the fold two. So I will just specify fold two and it will start the training. So yeah, and this is like uh, how the unit will be trained. And when it is trained, it will put like the results in the this results folder. Uh, yeah. And this is like how do uh, I save like the job scripts and uh, yeah, so I have like another uh, folder along with this NN unit uh, scripts and there uh, is like, I have different uh, job scripts. If we can see like the, how the, this uh, train one looks like. Yeah, so this is like how the uh, job script will look like for any of the task. And uh, if further we can use like, uh, if we want to use some pre-trained weights so we can specify this and provide the path like where the pre-trained weights will be. And uh, we can change like these paths where we want to save the results. Yeah. And uh, this NPZ, like it will save the probabilities uh, when the training is finished, but these all are like optional things. Yeah. And uh, th there are also some things like, uh, like NN unit by default use the deep supervision, but if we don't want to use the deep supervision, then uh, using this flag dot TR, uh, we can specify like different variants of NN unit training. Uh, like if we go to the, and then unit v2 and uh, go to like it's the training folder. So yeah, so this is like the main trainer which will be used uh, this one. So I also have its variants, but this will be the main one. And if we put on the click on the variants, then there are different variants. Like uh, sometimes we want to use the data augmentation. Sometimes we don't want to use the data augmentation. So one variant is this. So we will specify like slash dot tr and then uh, and a unit trainer dfi which will apply like heavy data augmentation if we want to use like some different loss function so we will specify one of these files in the data augmentation and if we don't want to use like the supervision deep supervision we will specify this and if we want to use like patch normalization we need to specify this yeah and there is different things like for the optimizer network architecture and learning date schedule so this is all about the training the NN unit and unit and in the next video we'll talk about like uh, how to do the inference with uh, this train NN unit uh, v2 and uh, uh, how to uh, start do the inference with the NN unit v1 as well so yeah stay tuned for the uh, next phase of the videos which will be about uh, the inference of the NN unit v2